We are back here on the JP exclusive game Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade and I have farmed out enough of these cursed crystals free to play to do one more summon. Now previously I did a summon where I got a guaranteed SSR character but unfortunately the SSR character that I got was a duplicate for Toto. Like that's not terrible because now I got a duplicate in Toto and I got a duplicate in Kugasaki but I want a fourth character for my team right now i've been using the rare itadori on my team and that's just not going to cut it like i could upgrade his level and level him up more but why am i going to waste resources on a rare character who's eventually going to get overshadowed by an ssr character so for this banner over here we actually have srs rated up in addition to ssrs i think it's this one right here that shows us the rates yep Okay, so you can see what's rated up. Uh, we got these three SSRs rated up, and then there should be something down here that says, yeah, the two SRs rated up. So all of these characters are from the movie Jujutsu uh, Kaisen Zero. So if you guys haven't watched that movie yet, uh, you know, it's pretty decent. I would recommend watching it, but that's what this banner is all about. And we're gonna hope to pull one of the characters from that movie on this banner. Hopefully not the SRs, I mean, or if we do pull the SRs, like Panda looks sick, right? But hopefully if we do pull the SRs, we pull one of the SSRs with it. Realistically, in one summon, what am I hoping to get? I don't know. I know this is gonna be a quick video, but to be honest, guys, grinding out the uh, cursed crystals in this game is a massive, massive pain because they don't have very much going on in the game we have the the movie event which is like a hero lottery we have this event uh solo camping which i don't know there's just not a whole lot going on and then you have the story to grind out where you can go through story mode and get like what is it 50 at a time 50 at a time when you need 3,000. I, it just it, it's too long it's too long it's too much of a grind uh maybe if the game ever releases on global they'll have more content by then and it'll be easier to grind but as of right now yeah it feels like a a, a game that is not yet finished but they released it and hopefully you know it'll get more content over time i'd love to see this game succeed i'd love to see it come to global but we'll just have to wait and see all right i have i've talked enough let's go ahead and uh do our summon here and there is pity on these banners actually before we do the summon let me show you the pity because i haven't really shown the pity before in a video uh pity does not carry over between banners but for sr characters it's a one to one point so a 10 multi gives you 10 points and so it's 60 points or six multi is to be able to get the sr characters it's 250 points to be able to get the ssr characters and these are the three ssr characters that are rated up we have uh maki inoue and panda with his other form and i apologize if i say any of their names wrong so yeah but panda looks awesome i'd love to pull him maki i'd take two let's go ahead and do this hopefully maybe we'll get lucky get a get a black flash in the animation you never know we could come on give me a good animation please please i'm free to play come on game treat me nice I did not see a black flash there. I don't know, we could get surprised, but I doubt it. I feel like that's not a good animation. I uh, definitely saw, oh! Oh, okay, I saw an SR and an SSR. I think the SSR is a memory though. I'm pretty sure the SSR is a memory. I will take it, but let's hope one of these SRs is the future. And there we go, right off the back, we got the new panda. So if I don't pull an SSR character, I might actually just level this guy up and make him my uh, fourth unit for my team, because then I'll have a full a full team decently uh, that, that has decent characters, you know. I would have preferred an SSR for that fourth spot, but if I have to take an SR, I'll take an SR. We got a new SR memory, we'll take that. Uh, not the one we wanted, but you know what, we'll take it. I'm a little bit nervous about what the SSR is going to be. Let's hope it's something good. Wow, that was a lot of him in a row. Jeez. Oh, I think... Do I have this one already? Yeah, I have it already because it doesn't say new. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I get to add that to one of the memories I already have leveled up. And so, that's fine. It'll just make the memory stronger. Another rare memory. And I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So, we got two new srs we got a new sr panda new sr memory and a new rare memory i think the the panda is the biggest thing i'm i'm happy about that this is nice too because we'll be able to uh, level up the memory so we'll go into the menu here this is for characters this is for memories for anyone that's unfamiliar with the game we'll go ahead and do the memory first i think which one was it it was this one right yeah level 35 okay and we'll go ahead and put the dupe into it 
and there are universal ones that you can get i don't have any and this will take it from max level being 55 to 60 and we get a new enhancement of some sort i don't know exactly what that does and i'm not going to translate it right now So always nice to get an SSR memory up from zero to one because it's gonna make it so we can level it up higher. And notice that we have uh, 11,000 of this currency. That's the other big gripe I have about this game. Let's see how many levels we go up from 11,000. Only up to 43. And 11,000 is a decent amount uh, of points to exchange for that. So it, it takes a long time to grind out anything for having to level up characters or memories in this game. All right, and then Panda, where where is he? He's now going to be my four slot unit. We're gonna go ahead and let's see what we can do with him. All right, so we'll level up his skills. Get his skills leveled up. I know I'm gonna use him. He just looks sick, right? I'm hoping he'll be cool. The SSR version would have been way cooler, but uh, considering this is a movie banner character, hopefully as an SR character, he'll be okay. Would be the goal here, right? So we'll go ahead, come on. All right, how much more do we want to invest in this guy? Probably not a ton, right? We'll go ahead and do this. It is an SR. I don't want to invest too much, but there we go. He up to level three, and we'll get his uh, ultimate. Wait, is this an ult No, that's not his ultimate. This is an ultimate. Ultimate up to level three as well. Okay. All right, we'll do that. Go ahead and level him up. Let's see how far we get. We have 83,000 of these. With 83,000, we get to... Ooh, we actually hit max level 30. Let's go. From there, it's only going to get harder, though. So now we'll go ahead and do the grades. Uh, grade up him. And we are a grade 2 sorcerer. And we can level him up to level 40. Go ahead and go to the next grade. Now we can get him to level 50. And I don't know how many materials I have. We'll take it as high as we can get at grade 4. This is an SR character I'm going to use, so... I'm not gonna feel too bad about wasting mats on this, hopefully. <laughs> and there we go, grade five. I think my SSRs are grade six or seven right now, so I think we're, yeah, we're about at our limit. There we go. Okay, so we can get them up to level 70. Let's see how high it lets me go here with, we have 81,000 of these left. Uh, we got up to 58, actually, that's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Okay, so with that, Let's go ahead and go over here and we'll test him out. So we're going to go into, we'll go into this. We'll go here. So this is where you want to farm out these to level up characters. I don't even know what they're called. Yellow orbs. Yellow orbs is where you want to farm them out. Um, we'll go ahead and let's see if we can take on the 20,000 and get three stars on it. Maybe. <laughs> uh, do, 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 actually, I need to change my team first before it just automatically goes. You got to change your team over here. My bad. All right, so let's go ahead and switch out Itadori for Panda. All right, let's switch. Actually, you can stay. You're level 44. No, you're level 30. You're yeah, but you're an SR character. You'll be better. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see what other memories do we have. Do we have anything else higher? No. Okay. Wait. Did we? Hold on. Hold on. I think I saw. No, that's level one. Okay. Yep, we'll keep it like that. So that's that's going to be my team for now. Now let's go farm those out. Go here, go here. And we'll take on the 20,000. I don't know if I can I can three-star this. Once you three-star it, you can um, then skip. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not going to use a friend unit. You only get so many friend units per day in this. I think it's three uses per total. So I try to save them for the story mode because the story mode can get quite hard. You can see that the recommended battle power is, uh, sorry, down here, it's 20,000. I have 22,000 with this team, so I should be okay, ideally. All right, I'm interested to see what Panda can do. I'm going to take it off auto. So we're going to use Toto's ability right here. What Toto's ability does is it's going to give him the ability to cover Kugusaki. So if she gets attacked, he will basically clap and switch places with her. So we'll go ahead and do that. Then we'll go ahead and do this. I, I'm so used to Black Clover now where you click on the enemy. And then you do that. Oh, what does this do? This is a barrage... Okay, we'll just use this primary first. Let's see how much damage Panda does compared to the SSRs. Ooh, only 3,000 damage from Panda and Gojo's doing 26,000? Did I see that right? 
Did I see that? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Alright, we'll go ahead and do this. Do this. Let's see how much this one can do. 4,000. 19,000. 48,000. Okay, that did a lot more that time. Okay, the punches weren't bad. The punches weren't bad. Uh, boom. 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 Let's uh, switch targets here. So I, I really want to see what he can do comparison wise. 4,000, 6,000, 38,000, 5,000? No, he's kind of staying on par with Toto, but Toto's a counter character, so I don't know so far how I feel about this. Uh, as you see, the counter with Toto is very nice because it can stun and disorient the enemy as well. Um, yeah, we'll use Gojo Sing here. Why not? And this seems like it's pretty decent, so. I haven't used any of my memories yet either, I just realized I forgot to use them. I'm completely dumb. That might kill them. Okay, yeah, that killed them both. Let's go. Alright, and we're up to the boss. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use the memory now. Make sure you activate it when you want to use it. Gotta do this. Activate. Activate. Alright, and we want to use this one on the boss, and we'll see how it goes. 7,000. 7,000. 38,000. 17,000. Ooh, he actually did more than the two SSRs, but I was only using the first skill on the SSRs, where I was using the third skill on Panda. But, like, Gojo is just insane, right? He's broken, but uh, he goes away after seven turns, and we're <laughs> he's going to go away here. So um, that's unfortunate, but we'll go ahead and counter. We'll use the ultimate here, like this, and then we'll get to use Panda's ultimate, and we'll combo with Kugasaki and see how it goes. Alright, she does a ton of damage on this ultimate. 66,000 damage. How much will he do? 10,000? That's not as much as I'd like to see, honestly. That's, I, I don't know, he is under level compared to them, they're level 70, that's about, like, a 20 level difference is massive in this game, especially when you get to those higher levels. So, hey, but we cleared it. Gojo would have gone away after that turn. And before, I wasn't able to do that. So we just three-starred that, thanks to Panda. I will say, I will say we got the three-star thanks to him. So, you know, is he good or not? I, I feel like he's decent. I feel like that third skill does a lot of damage in terms of his ultimate. I don't feel like his ultimate did as much damage as I would have liked for it to do. His primary skill is about on par with the other's primary skills. So overall, I would say he's a solid unit. He doesn't seem broken, but as an SR character, for him to somewhat keep up with the SSRs, I wouldn't say he was fully keeping up, but he was, he was pulling his own weight, right? I would say he was a decent character. But anyways, guys, those are my polls, and that was my testing of the character. Let me know what you guys thought of Panda down in the comments. And if you guys want to know how to download this game and play it on JP, check in the description below. I will link a video that shows you guys how to download and play the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Can anybody out there